A queue in C sharp stores the elements in FIFO style, and FIFO stands for first in, first out. So, a queue is basically the opposite of a stack collection. Queue collection allows multiple null and duplicate values. If you want to add elements to a queue, then you can use the enqueue method, and if you want to retrieve the values, then you can use the dequeue method. Now, let us see how we can declare a queue. To declare a queue, we can use the queue keyword, so for that we write queue, then my queue is equal to new queue. We said that if we want to add values to this queue, we can use the enqueue method, so my queue dot enqueue, and then let us add the number one, let us add two more values, so two in here, and then 31. Q is a non-generic collection, so we can add elements of any data type. So let us add a string, so dot nq, and then this is my string. We can even add a null value, so my q dot nq, and then null, and one more, so my q dot nq. This is the last value. If you want to see the number of elements in a queue, then you can use the count property. So let us write in here console.writeLine and then number of elements is equal to in here write my queue dot count. Control F5. Here we see that the number of elements is six. If you want to iterate through all the elements, we can use a for each loop. So for that we write for each and then here var element in my queue. Write in here console.writeLine and then element. To see the result, control F5. So we see that the element that we entered first is displayed as the first element, and two, which we entered as the second element, is displayed second, and the last value is the, this is the last value. And that's right, because we said that the queue stores the elements in a FIFO style. So, first in, first out. So, this is how we can display all the elements, but how can we access a specific one? To access a specific element, we can use the DQ method. And the dq method is used to retrieve the topmost element in a queue collection. And then the dq method will also remove the element from the top of the queue. It is also important to mention that calling the dq method on an empty queue will throw an invalid operation exception. So you need to always make sure that the total count of a queue is greater than zero before you call the dq method. So for example, in here we would write while my queue dot count is greater than zero, we can dequeue the value. So we can just write in here console dot write line and then my queue dot dequeue. At the end, let us use the same statement to see the number of elements in our queue, which we expect to be zero. So control F5. So here we are going to see that the number of elements is 6, and at the end, the number of elements is going to be 0. But if you want to get the first item from a queue collection without removing it from the queue, then you can use the peak method. And calling the peak and the queue method on an empty queue collection will always throw a runtime exception. So to see the peak method on action, let us remove the while, right in here, the peak of my queue is the my queue dot peak method. So control F5 and the result is going to be the one. We see that the number of elements is still the same, so six and six, so no elements were removed from our queue. The same way, if you want to check if a value exists, then you can use the contains method. So I'll just write in here console.writeLine and then value 30 
exists in my queue and we will check if this value is true or false by writing my queue dot contains and then 30 which we expect to be false because we don't have any 30 value in our queue so control f5 here we see that the statement is false and if you want to remove all the elements without using the dq method so you can remove them one by one starting from the first item you can use the clear method so write in here my q dot clear then control f5 we see that the number of elements is six then we execute the clear method so the number of elements is now zero so this is all for this part but before we proceed to the next part it's important to know that the queue stores the values in a fifo style so first in first out we use the nq method if we want to add elements into a queue we can use the dq method to return and remove the topmost element from the beginning of the queue we also said that the peak method returns but does not remove the topmost element and calling the queue or peak method on an empty queue throws an exception. 